Hi guys, Nintendo13 coming at you with another pickup video. This one's not going to be very long because I don't have a whole bunch of stuff, but I do have some quality items. So I guess I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, this one I had forgotten to show in my last video, and it's a game that I've had before and I really loved it, and I'm happy to have it back because I don't find it very often. Um, but anyway, at GameStop, I picked up a copy of Orcs and Elves. It's really hard to see in that. Um, yeah, it cost me two sixty nine. It's a great uh, dungeon crawler. There you go. Uh, it's a dungeon crawler, like Doom esque, where you're going through the levels and you got to turn right. It's all first person, but fighting, uh, you know, orcs and elves. So yeah, that was a, a good addition to my. DS collection. And then um, today at Volunteers of America, Sarah picked me up a game that I was looking at a couple days ago. And we were like, no, no. But um, it actually, I have a couple of the other kids sports games. But this one is Kid Sports Crazy Golf. So it's, there you go. It does have uh, water damage to the label. The back's all messed up. But the disc and the manual are really good. So it was like 250. And then um, I picked up three movies um, over there at Volunteers of America that I really, really love. And uh, I was happy to get these. Uh, first one is Adventures of Babysitting. Great movie from the 80s. Loved it. And uh, yeah, happy to have that. Um, <clears throat> then I got Masters of the Universe. Dolph Lundgren. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a really, really young Courtney Cox. That's a cool movie. And then this one right here, for some reason, not many people know about it. And I don't understand why. Um, a lot of the people that I've talked to around me haven't seen it or heard of it before. But that is Big Fish. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you go check it out. It's a fantastic, like, uh, fantasy, uh, like they call it on here, a modern day Wizard of Oz. And that's very true. It, it's just a wonderful movie. Okay, now I'll get back to what you're here for, and that's the games. Um, I was... Oh, one more thing from... Uh, sorry, uh, not really a game. One more thing from Volunteers of America the other day. I picked up this Lego Ninjago clock. How cool is that? I mean, he's huge. <clears throat> and he was two bucks. Two dollars. That, that's just amazing. Uh, he just needed batteries in there, and I put two AAA batteries in, and he works perfect. So you push him down, and he lights up. You can't even see now, because he lit up. And he doesn't shut off when you do that. But anyway, he all lights up. It's all red right here. Beautiful night light, you know, when you want to see what time it is. There it goes, he shut off. But, uh, yeah, it's really cool. That's how you hit the snooze and everything. You just tap him on the head. Oh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, um... I was at Goodwill, and they were just putting out a stack of um, PlayStation 2 games that somebody had just dropped off. So I was lucky enough to catch them right when they dropped them off. And they still have the yard sale stickers. I wish I would have seen these at the yard sale because I would have definitely picked them up there, and God knows what else they had if they got this. I don't know how this stuff wouldn't have sold in the yard sale, but anyway. Um, I did get one just case only, and that's Guitar Heroes 3. Uh, it had the, both the manuals in it, no disc, like I said, but they charged me 50 cents for an empty case, and I have a loose disc for this, so I will make that complete. <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. Okay, then, um, these other four PS2 games, they're nothing really special, but they're all, like, mint condition. These things are all crispy. I mean, look at this. Look at, you know, that's very very like brand new anyway got a, play, a greatest hits copy of spy hunter and these were all two bucks they're all complete and they're all mint condition just the discs are fantastic this one caught my eye i've never heard of it before it's not really expensive or anything but it's definitely it looks really cool and that is kesson 2 that's uh there you go you can see it now really awesome once again, I mean, the cases aren't broken in at all. Everything, the manuals are all crisp. Crispy. And then, yeah, more. There aren't anything special, but they had $10 on this at the yard sale. 
X-Men Legends. Good game. Great condition. And then this one is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun on this back when it came out. And that is Spider-Man. And once again, just like brand new. I, I don't think any of these have been played before. Now they did have a, like 10 more in that stack. But those were all scratched up. And I just wasn't going to deal with it. There was nothing else special. But uh, <laughs> I ended up finding this there too at the same time. I couldn't believe it. I think I just finished off my PS1 Final Fantasies. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. And all of my Final Fantasies are all... Play are all um, greatest hits which is fine for me I, I think it actually is really cool that you know it, there it's complete it's all shiny I'm just showing you and black disc look at that not a scratch on it that is just amazing oh I'm wrong I am missing um, Final Fantasy what is it anthology and Chrono Chrono Trigger or Chrono Cross I don't know, whatever the two-pack one is, I'm still missing that, and it'd be nice to pick that up, especially if I find a green label just to go with the rest of them, because I really don't care about it being, you know, green or black or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm like, uh, you know, if I do come across one, I'll always upgrade to a black if it's better. But anyway, okay. Um, my, this is really cool. My buddy next door, the one that gave me the Final Fantasy 7 VII and 8 and the PSP back in the day, um, <clears throat> we were over there, my buddy was Rob the Toy Guy, he was buying some He-Man figures from him. I keep looking over there because that's where he lives. But anyway, um, yeah, he gave this to me. This is one of the promo things that he had gotten when he worked at Game Crazy. And it's in this little awesome metal Nintendo 64 case. And no potatoes. It's all rotten. Um, well, we, have, buy. we have, thanks, Sarah. We have no potatoes for dinner. Okay. So, anyway, uh, it is broken. Unfortunately, the, the strap is broken. And it really is a bummer because on, on here it says Nintendo. Can't really see it. But, uh, really awesome watch. Both sides say Nintendo 64 on the strap. And, uh, yeah, it just broke from time. That's it. It's like a plastic strap. Anyway, I thought that was really awesome. Hell of a nice gift. And, uh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's go on to my buddy, Rob the Toy Guy. <clears throat> he ended up picking up a lot, and you know I'm going to be excited about this. Um, and he traded me for games in my collection, mostly Super Nintendo titles, but a couple Nintendos. And anyway... Uh, yeah, I traded off some games I had, and he gave this one to Sarah, because she loves this stuff. And that is Casper's Scare School, Spooky Sports Day. And that is complete. And unfortunately, it's Red Wagon Games, is the ones that uh, did this. And they're the same ones that did that really, really horrible Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So hopefully this isn't that bad, but Sarah loves Casper, so good for her. Okay, now I have uh, a GameCube bundle. This is what he got, some Facebook deal, I think. Um, anyway, I got a black GameCube. I actually don't have one of these in my collection. I only have purple and silver. So I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I will. But, uh... Everything works great. It's got all the cords that it needs. Came with two controllers. A uh, black one. They're both original, but you can't really see it. But this is this stick is all chewed up. And so is this one. And it's a bummer. I don't know how difficult it is. I mean, I fixed many controllers. I just don't know how difficult it is to change the sticks. Um, I'm going to find out because right now I only have one great controller for uh, my game cubes which is really odd but I finally got an orange spice again been looking for one of these for so long and I've jumped in value just incredible anyway I finally got another one but the analog stick is just shot you can kind of see it kind of not really but anyway so I got to swap that out and uh, there's some 
issue with the A button. I can't really change the board because I'm not going to resolder the cord because, you know, they have the colored ends. If they didn't do the colored ends on the cords, it would be so easy just to swap the whole board out. But anyway, I'm very, very excited about that. So, yes. Okay, now on to the games. It was amazing. I mean, I'm pushing like... I'm pushing like 220 or something uh, Wii ga or GameCube games. And he got a lot of seven of them. And I didn't have a single one. This is just amazing. Okay. And they're not all complete or anything. I'll get to that. This one, NFL Street. It was missing the manual. And unfortunately, this one will not read. Uh, I think it has to do with the big scratch on the front. It might go through. I mean, these are quite a I mean, they're, they're scratched up, but they all play. So anyway, I did not have this, and I still don't because it doesn't play. And I'm not throwing it in my collection because it doesn't play. So anyway, at least I got a case if I come across one, you know, loose. But that's a great game to have. I had number two. I still do. But anyway, the next one in there is one I've been looking for, Darkened Sky. Um, I know they also have this one in the two-pack with, uh, I think it's Hot Shots Golf. But it is missing manual, but that's okay. I mean, I, I'm just, you know I'm happy just to have the games. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie. This one is missing the manual. I don't know what it is. There's a spot for the manuals. Why are GameCube games and PS2 games and Wii games always missing manuals? What are you pulling them out and doing with them? They just sit there. Anyway, this is one that I did not have. Now I only need number three, and that is NBA Street. Fun series. Uh, I'm wanting to get number three. I don't even like basketball games, but I want to get number three because it does have the Mario characters. <clears throat> but they are, they are fun. NFL Street and NBA Street are a lot of fun. But that one is complete. That was a bonus. Then we got Star Wars Bounty Hunter. No manual. If anybody out there has manuals, like extra manuals for NES or GameCube, hit me up. I'm always looking for them. I'm always, there's a lot that I'm missing, and I don't know. Maybe we can work something out. But, uh, got a copy of Army Men, Sarge's War. I don't know why my glare is so bad today. Maybe it's because the TV's on. But that one is complete. Very awesome. And the final one is Scooby-Doo Unmasked. And also, that one is complete. <clears throat> so yeah, just very incredible to find a lot of GameCube stuff. And one bundle he got finally snagged me the orange controller. The system color I didn't have. And all these games that I didn't have. Now, as far as, you know, I was just going to flip the GameCube and whatever doubles I got, I can't do that. Oh, well. It didn't cost me anything but a few games out of my collection. Mostly uh, Super Nintendo, so I'm not too worried. I'm not going for that complete set. Okay, so let me get to the last item. I said I was going to make this quick, and I'm really not. It's like 13 minutes now. Okay, the last item I got, as you saw in the thumbnail, I got an inbox Bluey. Um, I, I, I have the box for the Skylander edition, but, I mean, this one's a lot cooler. Um, I do have a blue Wii already, but I'm not going to need two of them. This is the one that I got. It's good condition. No issues whatsoever. Everything works. I got the controller, nunchuck, the hookups, the sensor bar, which is never around. Uh, so like I said, this was, this was complete, um, minus, not complete then, uh, minus the number one cardboard sleeve, or tray, and the instructions and precautions and all that stuff. But, I do have a couple complete black boxes, so I'll pull the stuff out of there, make this complete, now I have both blue and black uh, fully complete in my collection. So that's uh, really awesome. Uh, they wanted 50 bucks for that at that uh, 
multi-retail store that I go to. Uh, the one that sells, you know, books, DVDs, uh, movies, games, the whole thing. It's all used junk. But this was sitting there for a few weeks at 50 bucks, and he gave it to me for 40 I couldn't turn that down at all to be able to... I mean, it's, it's got some tape onto it. Um, you can't really see it. There's there's It's all taped up right here. Maybe I'll work on it. It's got, you know, where the edge is missing right there. But I don't really care. It's going to go on my wall or up on my shelf. I'm really happy to have that instead of just the system sitting out. So, all I need to finish my red Wii and have that complete is the the GameCube controller cover. I need one of those for the top of my red Wii. But that will be all complete too. I just don't have a box for it yet. Um, yeah, okay, so that is it. Um, the only other thing that I have to say is that I did just get a new phone. Now, it, whoa, that's bright. Okay, anyway, I got a new phone. Uh, this does wonderful video onto it. And I'm going to try my best to start doing some live footage. And I'm going to do as much studying as I can to figure out what I have to do to edit stuff together. You know, I want to be able to um, do some hunting with my phone and then put it into the videos. I've never done any kind of editing. As you guys know, watching my videos, they're all just one take because I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, hopefully I can figure that out because I'd really love to get some live footage. Even if it's little snippets of the thrift stores or um, definitely showing off places like the video game cave over in Lansing. Um, that would be awesome for me just to start showing um, different stores that I'm going to. So, I mean, if anybody has any suggestions on how I can go about uh, learning some of those things, because I know a lot of you guys do that. You, you record stuff on your phone, you pop it in here, you do some little quick editing. Um, not looking to learn anything special, just something to, you know, add some stuff to my videos. So any help you can give, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you don't want to just leave a comment in here, uh, in my about section is my email address. Hit me up on there and we'll chat back and forth and hopefully I can learn something. So yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks for checking out my stuff. Uh, I, I don't have that much stuff and I still ramble on forever. It's awesome. Um, yeah, I guess other than that, I'm going to get ready to go and uh, finish making some barbecued chicken. Good stuff. So you guys have yourself a wonderful week, I guess, by the time you see this. It's going to be next week. So, yeah, have yourself a wonderful week, and I will talk to you just as soon as I can. Hmm? We'll see. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.